Welcome to the Lifestyle Medicine Update. I'm Dr. James Machino. In a previous Lifestyle Medicine Update, I cited the scientific studies showing that extra virgin olive oil contains an abundance of phen phenolic compounds which have been shown in human studies to lower the bad cholesterol, the LDL cholesterol, and reduce the rise in blood sugar, blood glucose after a meal compared to a meal containing corn oil. And it also exhibits anti-cancer properties. We, we think that this helps to explain studies showing a 68% lower risk of breast cancer in women following a Mediterranean diet that included extra virgin olive oil compared to women following a Mediterranean diet that included olive oil but not extra virgin olive oil. It's extra virgin olive oil that contains the polyphenols shown to have anti-cancer properties. Now, a 2019 meta-analysis evaluating all the studies looking at extra virgin olive oil also concluded that it raises the good cholesterol, the HDL cholesterol, which helps to remove cholesterol from the artery wall, opening up blood vessels by reversing the buildup of plaque in the artery wall to some degree. As such, a growing number of studies published in peer-reviewed journals continue to suggest that using two teaspoons of extra virgin olive oil per day is a better choice than using most other vegetable or seed oils when it comes to preparing salad dressings or sautéing vegetables, onions, garlic, or chicken, or when making pasta or possibly other sauces. A study published in November 2020 in the Journal of Clinical Investigation has shown that insufficient olive oil intake may also be a culprit in the development and progression of multiple sclerosis. Studies suggest that environmental factors play a role in the development of multiple sclerosis, or MS. One consistent factor that seems to stand out is that MS patients are known to have low levels of oleic acid, the main type of fat found in olive oil, which many researchers feel can lead to the development of MS. So why do they think that? Well, many studies show that the monounsaturated fat oleic acid found in olive oil plays a key role in the function of immune cells called T-regulatory cells, or Treg cells, as they're typically called. In MS patients, Treg cells become dysfunctional, allowing immune cell, other immune cells to attack and destroy the body's normal tissue and promote inflammation. This is the basis of all autoimmune diseases. Our own immune cells attack normal body tissue. In the case of MS, this involves immune cells attacking and destroying the myelin sheath that insulates our nerve cables, leading to muscle weakness and muscle paralysis. So in the 2020 study, researchers took Treg cells from the fat tissue of MS patients and exposed them to either arachidonic acid, which is a polyunsaturated fat that's found in high concentrations in meat products, or to oleic acid from olive oil. Within 72 hours, the Treg cells exposed to the arachidonic acid from high-fat meat products displayed increased activity of genes that promote even more inflammation. On the other hand, exposure to oleic acid from olive oil induced changes in the Treg cell genes that restored normal function in the way that they operated, which would suppress the action of other immune cells involved in the promotion and progression of MS. Previous case control studies have shown that a Mediterranean diet which emphasizes olive oil is associated with a decreased risk of developing MS. As well, with MS patients, we've seen that giving them a low-fat diet when they're supplemented with omega-3 fats and the inclusion of olive oil, it provides moderate benefits to those suffering from MS. It helps to improve the management. It's interesting to note that in the Nurses' Health Study, which has followed over 80,000 registered female nurses in the United States since 1984, nurses who regularly, who regularly have the highest consumption of alpha-linolenic acid, that's the main omega-3 fat found in flaxseed oil, they show an approximately 40% reduction in risk of developing MS compared to nurses who had the lowest consumption of this type of omega-3 fat. Now, having fish and fish oil consumption in that study was not associated with a decreased risk of MS, but remember, in studies that we've seen recently where you give MS patients omega-3 fats from fish oil, it has helped them. Thus, the ingestion of flaxseed oil may also be a modifiable lifestyle factor in the prevention of MS. Taken together, these studies further highlight the importance of avoiding foods high in inflammation-promoting and Treg cells suppressing arachidonic acid from the consumption of high-fat meat products, while focusing rather on the regular intake of extra virgin olive oil and nuts and seeds to acquire oleic acid, 
as well as possibly supplementation with omega-3 fat-rich flaxseed oil, which contains alpha-linolenic acid, and possibly I would suggest eating fish and having fish oil with flaxseed oil. Paying attention to consuming foods and supplements containing healthy fats and polyphenols and avoiding unhealthy fats is one more strategy that can help optimize health and prevent the development of various degenerative diseases and possibly some autoimmune diseases as well. So I've included the references for this information in the text below. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.